to be in the house of the Lord on the 4th of July to celebrate the birth of our nation and celebrate our Lord. Uh, if you would, it's the 1st, it's the 4th of July. Stand with me for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Star Spangled Banner and the Lord's Prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And the Star Spangled Banner, if you need the words, it's on five something. It's on 575, but I think we know the word. Or we should. Spoon's birthday. 
So let's sing happy birthday to them, if you would, please. Uncle Sam's happy birthday. What, 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 what? Uncle Sam's birthday. Well, you know what? It's America's birthday. You're right. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday. some coming up later in July, like 15, 16, 17, 20, uh, but we don't have any this week. Are there any other announcements, anything I've overlooked or whatever? Uh, we are going to let Nate come up and lead us in the communion and the offertory, and then we're going to tell him to sit down and sing along if with Jack and I, if you want to, but sing quietly, Nate. <laughs> no, seriously. And thank you, our dear friends Jack and Ann Haley are here. Uh, they came in to visit us this when I got here Friday, and we just had a ball. We've Jack and I have hid out from the girls, and we've sat and caterwauled with our guitars, and I don't know what all they did, but whatever. Everybody had a good time, but we did cook and eat quite a bit. So anyway. Brother Nate, I'll turn it over to you. Thank you. It has been said that a prophet is without honor in his own town. But uh, there's more than one way to minister the word. And going back to ancient Israel, the Lord's people sang unto the Lord. And that's one way that they passed down their godly heritage. Amen. So, in fact, the Psalms, that was the hymn book of the Old Testament. So today, we're blessed to have Jack here, and we are, of course, blessed to have Sam and Misty with us when it comes to worshiping through music as well. Next, we'll be going to the Lord in communion. Uh, you should have your self-serve communion cup with what is known as a wafer, or uh, in Lamb Passes, we would call it cardboard. Uh, I will be reading from John chapter 6, verses 32 through 35. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. It is not Moses that's given you the bread from heaven, but it's my Father who gives you the bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, from now on, give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. This is my body broken for you. This cup is the new covenant of my blood, poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. As commanded by our Lord and Savior, we have remembered him through the Lord's table today. For our focus on giving... And we recognize that giving is not just monetarily, it's through our time and our talents as well. I'll be reading a passage from the parable of the talents. Uh, this is Matthew 25, verses 19 through 21. After a long time, the master of the servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who had received the five talents brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five talents. I have gained five times. His master replied, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. 
Amen. And on this remembrance of our country's birth, uh, we now will remember the Lord through our song. Round, do whatever, but uh, as we go through this music, uh, we invite you to sing along on those that you know. Happy to have you. We'll start off with a kind of a medley of patriotic songs that we put together. I'm going to tell you a little story about communion. Our church in Isle Park, once a month, we take communion to the nursing home. I'd take the guitar and I'd sing hymns and stuff, and then I'd read scripture just like Nate did, and would pass the little objects we just used around. One little lady sat there in a wheelchair and opened up a packet, and when I blessed the bread and prayed, and told us to go ahead and eat the bread. That waiter did not satisfy this woman at all. She spit it back out and ate a But from then on, we was real careful about who we gave it to and how we helped them manage it. So anytime Anne gets one of these waiters, she thinks back about that time about having the waiter spit out in her hand. <laughs> Oh, me. Again, I, I thank you for allowing me to be here. This is my home church away from home. Amen. I pray for y'all all the time. Mm -hmm. Sam keeps us in far about what's going on in here. And God bless your ministry. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. And maybe one of these days we will get back to some kind of noise. Whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I'd work for all my life. I have never yet with just my children and my wife. I thank my God above to be living here today. The flag still stands on the green. They can't take. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
you're going to see them hear the word smile, and when I look out there, I expect to see <laughs> We found them up to the dead. This time's a smile. I'll meet you in the morning. Oh, 
little sticky thingy on here. I don't know, remember if we ever done this song here before or not, but it's, it's got a lot of peppy, lively stuff in it, so just some of these songs on the chorus that you remember from years ago, so just jump in there and hang on. Oh, I'd like to go back to that old country church to hear the songs of praise. Songs of praise, how the people would sing. It would make the rapture scream at that old, at that old country church. Shall we gather at the river, the beautiful, the beautiful
as it's mine. And the white rose angel sings a story.
God bless America. Amen. Well, I'm glad.